Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore on how to verify domains on Brevo. So, let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log into your account. And if you haven't done so, this is the perfect time for you to sign up. It's free anyway. Alright, click on that. And from here, obviously, you can create your account. No credit card needed. That's one of the good things about Brevo. You can sign up using your Google account or you can sign up with Apple. Or you can simply sign with your business or work email. And once you have done that, log in using your credentials. Now that you are in the interface of your Brevo, head over to your dashboard. Okay, so um, just follow along. If you are having um, problems following and navigating the whole process. So I suggest you um, focus. And then the next step is... Now, simply, you can authenticate and validate your domains after creating and managing them. So the first step is to validate domain configuration. Now, you can use any um, the endpoints. Say, for example, your domain is um, HTTPS um, and is guide.com slash v3 senders domains within the method to validate your domain now if you're still following you can use the uh, CURL request below to send a request to the endpoint now it's going to be a little bit um difficult if you're not um, a programmer or an app developer but needless to say this endpoint shows the configurations of a specific domain now there's only one attribute for this endpoint which is the uh, domain name as you can see it from here which you have to append within the url in the uh, c url request it is defined below in the table it's the attribute which is a domain name the data type is string and description is the name of the domain and the value is say for example your website or mycompany.com and the response, this is a sample response right here. Okay. Now, um, if you are using this format, the domain's configurations are shown. And if the domain is verified and authenticated, you can find some response codes below and their description. Say, for example, you have seen um, a response code 200. That means it shows the status of domain verification and authentication. Now, if you can see a response code of 400, that's going to be a bad request, which means the request fails due to a bad request involving incorrect or missing parameters. And the 404 obviously request fails because the domain does not exist or the domain does not exist. Now, to authenticate a domain, you can use the endpoint as shown in the uh, example here the CURL request below can be utilized to send a request to uh, the endpoint now from here you can put the attribute in the URL request as mentioned here here's the example now the attribute is mentioned in the uh, table below say for example I'm um, attribute domain name data type is string and the name of the domain and again the value is your uh, website or your company mycompany.com and here are some uh, three ways to authenticate your domain. And again, it's going to be via the uh, DNS records. You need the uh, Brevo record to verify your domain. To authenticate the domain, configure your domain with other remaining DNS records. And again, you need to host a file. You can host a file on the uh, root directory of the domain and send an email. You can send email for a verification code, which will verify the domain is authentic. And that's how you authenticate a domain here in Brevo. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.